Okay, uh, it's been like uh, oh, going on about four weeks now, and my bees are doing really well. Um, the queens are laying like mad. Um, and I'm the uh, I'm a nuke beekeeper. I do run ten frame hives, uh, big ones, but mostly nukes. Uh, I find that that the bees make me a lot more honey, and I can control the uh, varroa and the uh, hive beetles better than opening up a gigantic hive and uh, bees uh, seem to like to go up and down like a chimney uh, just like they do in the wild and I get a very good high production of uh, honey from the bees beekeeping this way and I can control the hive better now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be adding the second box on top there's five frames there and there's going to be five frame new frames and uh, I'm also going to add a frame of brood and bees to this hive to boost it up. So I, because I'm sort of missing the honey flow with uh, having new bees. So by me boosting them up, I will be able to have some of these hives producing honey for me. So now what I do is, when I'm going to add another super here, so the bees don't kill one another, or then go down and kill the queen, I put a sheet of newspaper on here. And they puncture holes in it, just a few holes. And the bees downstairs will eat through here, and some of the bees up here will eat through. And then they get to be adju uh, adjusted to one another, and they don't fight or kill one another. It'll take them like a day, two two days to eat through this uh, newspaper. And we already did a bunch of hives already. Now this is the last frame of brood that we're going to put on here to give them a boost and lots of bees. Look at that brood pattern. Isn't that beautiful? These bees are awesome bees. Hey, look at this thing, it's shaving right before. That's okay. So now when I install this here, now if I had a lot of bees up on top here, I would be squirting it with sugar syrup, but we don't have any bees up here. So they all lick one another off and then they get acquainted, but I don't have bees up here. So I'm uh, putting the this up here, they'll be okay. They have a hole in the front to go out to adjust to the area. And most of these are all nurse bees anyway. Because my friend, uh, who I got my bees from, he raises bees here in Chattanooga, or in Jasper. And uh, he pulled these in the afternoon while the workforce was out in the field. So what I have here is the nurse bees, which I want. Because the nurse bees are going to make the hive thrive really well. bees in the box here. Watch out girls, you're in for a ride. I know I made you mad honey. A day doesn't go by, you gotta be stung by a bee. I've been beekeeping since I've been 15 years old. And I'm 73 now, and the venom is good for you. I don't have any arthritis in my body. These things, back in the olden days, back in the 30s and 40s, if people had arthritis, they'd go to the holistic doctor, and he'd have a gallon jug full of bees, and uh, he'd put their hand inside the jug and let the bees sting their joints, and it uh, really helped them with their arthritis. So I've been inoculated since I've been a little kid. So um, I don't have any arthritis, so I'm very blessed. And I thank the bees for that. That's how you do it. It's that easy. Now this hive here, the reason we're not doing nothing with this hive because this hive here superseded the queen. 
and they've got all kinds of queen cells in here. So I'm gonna let this alone till they get regulated and that queen starts laying. Then I'll go around to my other hives and I'll steal brood and put brood in here to boost her up till she starts laying. And then this hive will be just as powerful as the rest of them. I'll go around and take a little bit from everybody here. And then, uh, the, I don't know why, but this is the only hive that they didn't like the queen mama. They let her lay for two weeks. Solid brood, what she did, and they killed her. They didn't like her. So they want a new one. All right, guys. There you have it, the new beekeeper. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. We'll be following him all the way through the year. Thank you for watching Wooly Bees.